Palestine is mentioned in the Bible in several places. The Hebrew name for Palestine is Pelisheth, which is rendered as Philistia in some translations. The word Palestine itself is derived from the Greek word Palestine, which was used by the ancient Greeks to refer to the region of the Eastern Mediterranean that includes modern-day Israel and the Palestinian territories. The word and its derivates are used more than 250 times in Masoretic-derived versions of the Hebrew Bible, of which 10 uses are in the Torah. The first use being in Genesis 10, in the generations of Noah, with undefined boundaries and no meaningful description. And almost 200 of the remaining references are in the later book of Judges and the books of Samuel that contain the well-known story of a coastal state in biblical conflict with the Israelites. By the time the Septuagint was translated, the term palaste, first used by Herodotus, had already entered the Greek vocabulary. However, it was not used in Thinestead. The term land of Philistium is used. The Septuagint instead used the term Alephuloi, other nations throughout the books of Judges and Samuel, such that the term Philistines has been interpreted to mean non-Israelites of the promised land when used in the context of Samson, Saul, and David. The rabbinic sources explain that these peoples were different from the Philistines of the book of Genesis. The Old Testament mentions Palestine as the land of the Philistines, who were one of the ancient peoples that inhabited the region. The Book of Judges and the Books of Samuel contain the well-known story of a coastal state in biblical conflict with the Israelites. The term, Peliset, is found in five inscriptions referring to a neighboring people, who are generally identified with the Philistines, or their land Philistia, starting from circa 1150 BC during the 20th dynasty of Egypt. The first known mention is at the Medinet Habu Temple, which refers to the Peliset, among those who fought against Egypt during Ramesses III's reign, and the last known is 300 years later on Padazet's statue. The Assyrians called the same region Palashta Palastu or Pilistu, beginning with Adad Nirari III in the Nimrud slab and C. 800 BC through to an Esar Haddon treaty more than a century later. Neither the Egyptian nor the Assyrian sources provided clear regional boundaries for the term. The term, Palestine, first appeared in the 5th century BC, when the ancient Greek historian Herodotus wrote of a district of Syria, called Palestin between Phoenicia and Egypt in the histories. Herodotus provides the first historical reference clearly denoting a wider region than Biblical Philistia, as he applied the term to both the coastal and the inland regions, such as the Jadine Mountains and the Jordan Rift Valley. Later Greek writers such as Aristotle, Polman, and Pausanias also used the word, which was followed by Roman writers such as Ovid, Tibullus, Pomponius, Mela, Pliny the Elder, Dio, Chrysostom, Statius, Plutarch, as well as Roman Jadeen writers Philo of Alexandria and Josephus. There is not currently evidence of the name on any Hellenistic coin or inscription. In the early 2nd century ed, the term, Syria Palestina, a literally, Palestinian Syria, was given to a Roman province incorporating Judea and other territories either before or after the suppression of the Bar Kokhba revolt in 135. In around the year 390, during the Byzantine period, the imperial province of Syria-Palestina was then reorganized into Palestina Prima, Palestina Secunda, and Palestina Salutaris. Following the Muslim conquest, place names that were in use by the Byzantine administration generally continued to be used in Arabic and the Junt Philastin became one of the military districts within the Umayyad and Abbasid province of Balad al-Sham. The use of the name Palestine became common in early modern English, was used in English and Arabic during the Mutaseraphate of Jerusalem. The term was used widely as a self-identification by Palestinians from the start of the 20th century onwards. In the 20th century, the name was used by the British to refer to Mandatory Palestine, a territory from the former Ottoman Empire which had been divided in the Sykes-Picot Agreement, and secured by Britain via the Mandate for Palestine obtained from the League of Nations. 
Starting from 2013, the term was officially used in the eponymous state of Palestine. Both the land commonly known as Palestine into a new state whose territory was named Palestine. The English term Palestine itself derives from the Latin paliesna, which, in turn, derives from the coined Greek palestin, used by the world's first known historian, Herodotus, in the 5th century BC. Per Martin Knopf, the name likely comes from a proto-Semitic word. Albeit there is a strong similarity between palaist and, and palists, the Greek word for wrestler rival, adversary, which has the same etymological meaning as the Hebrew word Israel. This was expanded by David Jacobson to theorize the name being a portmanteau of the word for Philistines, with a direct translation of the word Israel into Greek in concordance with the Greek penchant for punning on place names. Whilst the term was used in Egyptian and Assyrian times, prior to the time period in which the Bible is thought to have been written, scholars generally conclude that the term is cognate with the Biblical Hebrew plea tm. The further etymology is uncertain. It is unknown whether the term was an endonym or exonym. No word for Philistia has been found in the sparse attestations of the Philistine language, and it is unknown whether the Hebrew, Egyptian, and Assyrian terms derived from a common source. 